Hey, what's up everyone? So today's video is gonna be a little bit different from the usual content that I've been putting out the last few weeks. Um, today, I'm just gonna kinda of run you guys through what our daily um, routine looks like and what it's like for me to be a dog dad and kinda of just give you like an overlook of um, what our schedule looks like right now with everything going on with COVID. So our day really starts off around like between seven and 7.30. So the first thing that I do as soon as I get out of bed is I go to the kitchen, I check my blood sugar because I am a type one diabetic, which comes as a shock to people because I am fairly young or at least I still feel like I'm young, but um, it's something that I've been living with uh, since I was 17 and I'm 33 now. And um, lately I've been just trying to get back on track with that. I kind of fell off the wagon and I'm just trying to get more control over my diabetes and making healthier, um, you know, food choices, getting more exercise and stuff like that. But unfortunately it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit more difficult with uh, COVID being around and a lot of things being closed. So. Once I got that out of the way, I end up making Fuzi's breakfast. If you guys are interested in knowing in what I put into his uh, food bowl, then go check out the video up here, I'll link it. So once Fuzi's fed, I jump in the shower really quickly. That's kind of where I wake up and I kind of, you know, take my time in there and think and plan out my day and I get a lot of my creative ideas for these videos in there. I don't know why it just happens. Uh, I don't know, and I guess I'm more creative in the morning. I don't know. Ready to head out with Fuli for his walk. So I always make sure that I wait about an hour before I take Fuli for his walk, uh, just because I want to let his food digest. And uh, we do do a lot of walking and some training. So I want to make sure that he's ready. He's not feeling heavy. It also avoids him getting GDV, which is gastric dilation volvulus. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So basically what that is, it's when his stomach fills with gas and it physically twists and flips over. It's very dangerous. Dogs can die from it. So we just completely avoid that, make sure that his uh, food's digested. And then we go for a walk. All right, Peter, back to you in the studio. Our walks are usually between three and four kilometers, sometimes a little bit more. It usually takes us about like an hour to an hour and a half to get that done. Lately, I've been on an oatmeal kick with uh, coconut milk, coconut oil, and coconut flakes. And I'll usually throw that back with a protein shake or something like that. When I have breakfast, I'll usually do it in front of the TV and I'll watch some of my favorite YouTube creators like Creative Ryan, uh, Jesse Driftwood, and Danny Gervitz. I really like their content. Um, I've been following them for a couple months now and I get a lot of my, I guess, inspiration for these videos uh, from their channel. I don't really get to see my parents that often, so I try to make it a point every morning to either FaceTime them or call them. And it's just a quick check-in just to see how they're doing, if they need anything. They're getting a little bit older, so I do have to t I kind of keep an eye on them now. It's kind of funny how the tables have turned, but um, I usually just catch up with them for like 10 minutes or something like that. This is the actual time that I sit down and I do some work. So right now we're actually in that block. So between 10.30 and one o'clock, uh, this is my working block. Um, if you guys haven't clued in already, I do have a background in photography and design. I don't really know what to label myself as anymore just because there's so many different things that I do within the creative space. Don't like being in front of my computer for too long. It, I don't really find that it's uh, productive, so I'll usually take a break, step away from the computer, and I'll get some exercise, or I'll go for a, like a light walk with the dog or I'll just step out and do some errands. Um, I'll leave Fuli at home just because he needs his space too. And it just really helps with conditioning him not to have um, separation anxiety. And if you guys haven't seen my video on separation anxiety, then I'll link it up here for you guys to go check out. So I should mention between the hours of 10.30 and 2.30, while I'm actually doing all this work, Fuli is passed out, he's sleeping. He's usually pretty exhausted from his walks. I strategically do those long walks um, just so it does tire him out. So it gives me an opportunity to focus on work because I am the one that pays the bills around here. 
he just sits here and looks pretty and takes up space, snores and farts and burps and does all that stuff that I described in the first video. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't seen, go check it out. I'll leave a link up right up here. I'm back to doing work and work nowadays is kind of revolving around just doing like some research, learning more about the French Bulldogs and uh, answering people's questions, uh, doing um, research on YouTube on how to get the videos out there. So um, that's kind of what my work revolves around right now. I usually get all the boring stuff out of the way first uh, during the day, just because I know if I leave it till the end of the day, I'm never going to get it done. Um, by the time five o'clock hits, I'm kind of like tapped out. I don't really want to be in front of the computer any longer. So um, that's kind of the stuff that I'm doing within that block. All right, so five o'clock's hit, work's kind of sort of done. We don't really know. I don't really know. I never really know what's going on, to be honest with you. I don't even know how I'm recording this. But the point is, five o'clock hits, I'm ready to walk away from the desk. And somewhere in between five and seven, five and eight, I'll either take Freely for a walk first or I'll feed him first. He's never on the same um, schedule for his dinner. All right, so at this point, you're probably wondering, Peter, why don't you feed your dog at the same time every day? Well, the reason why is because I like to have some flexibility when it comes to feeding him. Because I don't work the typical nine to five job, I'll have, you know, a sporadic schedule. Sometimes I'll have a photo shoot that goes a little bit longer than it should, or I have scheduled an engagement shoot or something along those lines. Or maybe I just want to go out with my friends after work. So I don't want to rush home. Um, that I have to feed him at six o'clock and if I don't then he's gonna start freaking out and start tearing apart the couch. So I've conditioned him to know that he is gonna get his food. It might be six o'clock, it might be seven o'clock, but you know, it's not gonna be at the same time every day. This is honestly my favorite part of the day when I get to come out, go for a walk with him and just throw the ball around for him, get some exercise, you know, spend some time with him because during the day, you know, really come during the day. You know, I'm a little bit uh, tied down with work and, you know, focus on other things. But, you know, this is this is it right here. Look how happy he is. Philly, come here, buddy. Can I get the ball? Can I get it? Huh? Give me the ball. Here, let me take it from you. You're going to come on. <laughs> time for me to have some dinner and right now this is probably the most difficult uh, thing for me to do just because i do enjoy cooking i do enjoy a lot of different foods and i'm actually i'm experimenting with a lot of different recipes right now and trying to make healthier wiser um, meal choices so um before this whole pandemic, I was on a meal prep service. They would drop it off two times a week on Sunday and Wednesdays. It was very easy and convenient because all I had to do was just reach into the fridge, heat up my food, everything was portioned out, and um, I didn't have to think about cooking. It's really difficult to actually cook for one person. Um, I need variety throughout the day. I can't have the same thing every day. I used to do that for years when I was bodybuilding, but I just can't do that anymore. All right, for the rest of the evening, I don't have anything particular planned, no structure. I kind of just like to hang out, take it easy with Fuli, maybe watch a movie or something on Netflix. And actually, I just got Netflix like two months ago. Um, I, I, don't, I don't really watch much TV before then. But I did start getting into The Office and it is by far the funniest show that I've ever seen. Um, definitely, definitely not a show that would survive any network in today's day and age. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's funny. I'm pretty sure everyone else that follows this channel has probably already seen it. Um, if I'm feeling extra motivated, then maybe I'll jump onto the computer and I'll finish up some editing or some video or maybe plan my next video or something like that. But yeah, guys, that's kind of what our day looks like and what my day looks like as a dog father or a dog dad. And yeah, um, guys, I'm not even going to tell you what to do. If you guys like this video, 
Um, you guys know where the thumbs up is. You guys know where the subscribe button is. Just go do that YouTube stuff. We're out of here. I'm out of here. Ray, let's go. Let's go for our 50th walk of the day. And you're probably asking yourself, Peter, how many steps are you and Fully doing a day? And my answer to that is not enough. I'm kidding. I'm probably doing about 12 to 15,000 a day. Really? And there he is, taking a dump. I gotta, I'll be right back. Does anybody have a bag? So I just finished the take and I didn't even hit record. How stupid am I? Jesus, what am I gonna learn? All right, let's do this again. Can you guys hear that? He knows what I'm talking about, so I... <laughs> oh my god, I love this dog. <laughs>